Top national security and defense officials meet at the Pentagon, signaling a greater coherency in U.S. foreign policy. One America's Christian Rose has more. Defense Secretary James Mattis welcomes the incoming national security advisor to President Trump, John Bolton, to the Pentagon. Their meeting kicked off on a friendly note, and security policy experts are expecting the two to get along well. Secretary, it's so good, good to, to see you. you. Thank you for inviting thanks me for, over. Oh, no. Yeah. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for coming, and uh, it's good to finally you meet you. Absolutely. You I've heard that you're absolutely uh, devil in the front of the board of <laughs> Over the past several days, Secretary Mattis has repeatedly dismissed the speculation Bolton's appointment could spark tensions between the Pentagon and the Trump administration. President Trump's decision to replace H.R. McMaster with Bolton raised questions whether Bolton's hardline stance on Iran and North Korea would come in conflict with a more weighted approach of Secretary Mattis. However, Pentagon officials said an ideological conflict with the White House is unlikely at this point, as they see the job of National Security Advisor as more of an aggregator than a decision maker charting actual defense policy course. Ironically, Susan Rice, Barack Obama's national security advisor, wrote and said on uh, talk shows this past weekend that 25 years of policy, including hers and Obama's, was a failure and that we should now accept the nuclear North Korea. Tillerson and Madison are saying, we're going to take those failed policies and keep pursuing them. I think the legacy of the Trump administration, if that's right, is a nuclear North Korea. Despite the ongoing debates over Bolton's position on the U.S. foreign and security policy, Secretary Mattis appeared to be excited during his meeting with the incoming advisor to the president. As One American News reported previously, this comes amid expectations of a more hawkish White House approach to foreign affairs. Which is always good news for the military-industrial complex, as well as defense and security agencies. A consistently more hardline stance on U.S. foes in the White House also means further potential increases in defense spending and a more coherent effort to rebuild the U.S. military, providing Secretary Mattis and his department with additional resources. Peace through strength is important. That the way, the way, the surest way to avoid conflict uh, is to have a strong military capability. As the ancient Romans used to say, "Si vis pacem, parabellum." If you want peace, prepare for war. Meantime, Secretary Mattis also met with CIA Director Mike Pompeo, who was recently tapped by President Trump as the new State Secretary with his Senate confirmation due in April. Like Bolton, Pompeo is recognized for his skepticism towards North Korea and the Iran nuclear deal. However, his vision of such matters was described as more pragmatic rather than rooted in the neocon ideologies. Following the meetings, Secretary Mattis expressed his confidence that the Trump administration and cabinet have the capability to advance U.S. national security policy in a more efficient manner. You've got a couple big things. One is the JCPOA, the U.S. P5 plus one deal with Iran. That's coming up for review, as well as obviously the North Korea summit, as you mentioned. Um, obviously, we are very concerned at our end. You know, we're also watching the free trade side of this, as you see the folks that want more protectionist policies being elevated. While Bolton has advocated for a military solution to the North Korean and Iranian nuclear threats, policy experts warn of a higher volatility in international affairs in the years to come. Although volatility is rarely good for the financial sector and global trade, periods of uncertainty and military tension have oftentimes benefited the national Main Street economy due to the fiscal accommodation, protectionist measures and gains in employment in strategically important sectors. Once the president makes a decision, the cabinet departments and other bureaucracies should implement the decision. And there, I think, the national security advisor's role is to make sure that the president's decision is carried out. Bolton will officially take his new role at the White House on April the 9th. The signs of solid partnership forming between state and defense departments, as well as President Trump's West Wing team, come as a positive development ahead of the momentous North Korea talks and the president's decision on Iran deal. The U.S. is now expected to add pressure on the inhumane regimes abroad, ultimately resolving the multi-decade stalemate on the destabilizing activities, ideological terror and nuclear blackmail. Christian Rose, One American News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.